Alexa, switch off my Viper printer. Okay. Hello and welcome to 3D Print Passion. Today I like to test the power of resume and pause function. Did you ever have tested that function and how the print is looking like after you switch off your printer? So we will check that in detail. Have fun watching the video. Alexa, switch off my Viper printer. Okay. I started with my first test to completely switch off the power. I started this in the afternoon at 4 o'clock 27 minutes and I waited afterwards one hour to let cool down the heat bed completely and also the nozzle. Then I did start the print again. Alexa, switch on my Viper printer. Okay. I did print with an SD card, else the printer won't recognize that the print has been stopped. After I switched on the printer, it detected directly that there was a power off situation and he gave me the possibility to resume the print. That I have done. So the printer starts to heat up the nozzle and the heat bed while the nozzle is laid down to the print. That will give for sure a blob. Then the printer, after heating up, start a homing process. He goes really completely down to set zero. And what we see here not very well on that little video is if the print would be a little bigger, the axles would collide with the print. So not nice, but anyway, he needs to know where the set axis is standing to resume the print. As next, I tested the pause function by only clicking on the pause button. And what we see here is that now the printer will lift up the nozzle 2-3 millimeters to avoid by resume printing the problem to damage the part while the nozzle is laying down to the printout. So after a few minutes, I resumed the print and it started again to print further on the object without any special happenings. This is working very well. Then the idea popped up, is it possible to pause a print during the night and resume it on the morning again? And the best way to do this, I think, is to pause the print and to power off the printer. And that is what I have tested. Alexa, switch off my Viper printer. Okay. I did wait now a few minutes and restart the printer again. Alexa, switch on my Viper printer. Okay. As I already expected, as soon I had powered on the printer again, he offered me to resume the print. What I have done in that case. The printer heated up again the nozzle and the heat pad and did again the set homing. What I already said with the problematic issue that there is a possibility that the axis will collide with the printout if it's a little bit too big. So that this basically works is not a question. It is already a standard function in Marlin. But how the print is looking like now after that three tests? Let's check the details. Before we go further in the analysis, I like to give you some information in plus. Theoretically, the degeneration of a tube in the heat break could increase. It would also be convincible that the blockage could occur in the heat break when switching off the printer in the retract state and also concern what could be pop up is, in theory, an increased risk of fire. So, like I said, I don't think it's a high risk, but safety first. In the first test scenario, the power off situation, there was a big blob plus a little layer offset. Also, an under extrusion during the beginning phase of the printout is visible. 
of course i made it a little bit more difficult because i printed this one in race mode and so the printer only have one wall and if there is only a little problem it will be directly visible here of course that was the reason why i did print a race mode that we can see really what problems could happen at the second test the pause mode test there is nearly nothing to see only really a little under extrusion is visible but overall the print did restart very well so this is a nice result if the under extrusion will be inside the infill nobody will see it let's have a look to the last test pause mode plus power off same picture here a little under extrusion in the beginning, a little bit of oozing on the outer wall, but overall a nice result. Also here, would that be inside the infill? It would be a very good result. Let's take a more closer look. And we can see here the under extrusion on the wall. And this is visible on all three test iterations. As most, of course, we can see it on the power off scenario. So, of course, if you lose your heat bed adhesion to the printed part while the printer is cooling down, all of that makes no sense. This is something you should check before, else it won't work, of course. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you like it a little bit. If so, thanks to give me a thumbs up. If you like to see more videos from me, click on subscribe and afterwise on the bell to don't miss any new videos from me. Thank you very much and happy printing.